since the dawn of the human race, well, maybe I'm overstating that a little bit, but at least since the 1980s, it has been widely known that Japanese small cars are the very best small cars in the world, and American small cars are the very worst small cars in the world. You take that up a step and go to small sport utilities, and the difference is magnified that much more. Well, let me tell you something, those days are over. American cars are suddenly the leaders of the class in many categories, and surprisingly, in the small sport utility class, the Chevrolet Equinox is one of the very strongest pieces of merchandise in the entire category. When the Equinox first came out, eh, wasn't all that great. But this new Equinox is absolutely fantastic. Wonderful engine, over 180 horsepower, it still gets 29 miles per gallon out on the open road and drives beautifully. Zero to 60 is actually in 9.2 seconds. It wasn't that long ago when sports cars were achieving those kind of numbers. This is a family-sized four-wheel drive vehicle for crying out loud. It's actually a great driving car and it's a little bit bigger and heftier than some of the other cars in the class and so it's actually softer, more compliant and feels much better out on the open road. This particular car is perfect for a person like me who likes nearly new cars that have been fully depreciated. It's a 2011, so it's already a couple of years old, but it only has 16,000 miles. So I'm getting like new miles, but on a car that has two years of depreciation built in. Now I know a lot of these are former rental cars, so let's take a look at what separates this one from the rest of the pack. This car, if I look at the front end, sure, it's got some nice accessories on it. We call these presents. Whenever a customer buys presents for their car, it's, a, it's an indication of a little bit more love and a little bit more connection that that owner has with their car. They tend to pamper their car. The more presents, the more pampered the car is. And so if I look at this car, I could say, well, I mean, these aren't particularly expensive uh, little ads right here. All these nice little trim pieces around the fog lamps and what have you. But if I look at the rest of the front end of this car, it looks brand new. No rock chips, no scratches, no nothing. This is a perfect, flawless front end of a car. Very, very difficult to find on four-wheel drive vehicles because people take them over the pass, they get beat up. This one isn't beat up at all. Let's take a look at the side. These wheels, they're probably pretty spendy. They look fantastic, but they still look classy and elegant. It looks like maybe a, an upgraded factory wheel as opposed to a custom wheel. Nice Toyo tires. Everything about this is just really, really cool. Tinted windows, chrome accents on the roof rack. Very nice. Taking a look inside, perfect. Not nice, not clean, not sharp, perfect condition. Cloth upholstery. Now, a lot of people don't realize this. For not very much money in the modern world, you can actually convert this to leather. I love this cloth. I love this pattern. But this is a car that, hey, for not very much money, take it up a notch to full leather interior. Again, it's under $1,000 to do that. And you can pick the color of the interior that you like. Great stereo system, Bluetooth, nice stitching in the doors. Very classy. Back seat, lots of room. In fact, tons of room. It's the single biggest back seat of any small sport utility sold in the United States. And then take a look at this bonus. Drop down DVD on both. And so you have two TV DVD units here and you'd never know it. So you don't have to worry about some suspicious people coming through your car and looking to see if you have something that they can steal. You'd never even know it was here. Let's take a look in the back. Again, nice little presence, uh, a nice little chrome trim accessory here. Sometimes this stuff can look pretty garish. No, not like this at all. This, this looks actually factory and nice and is an improvement over the factory look. Custom exhaust outlets on both sides let the car breathe a little bit better, but it still sounds nice. And then look at this trailer tow, very nicely integrated. A lot of times you'll see these tow hitches, they're too low, they stand out, they just don't look right. This one looks perfect. Weather Tech Mat in the back, again, they wanted this car to look like brand new, and it does look like brand new. Let's take a look on the passenger side, flawless. Not one scratch, not one door ding. Let's take a look inside. Let's listen to how that exhaust sounds. Nice.
nice and mellow. It's not intrusive at all. In fact, let's give it a little gas. Nothing to discourage you from feeling great. Now this car has airbags in the front, has airbags in the side. It has airbags in the A pillar, airbags in the B pillar, airbags in the C pillar. I've never seen a small vehicle with so many airbags. This car is actually very, very well equipped for an Equinox, plus all the fun extras that this one has. 16,000 miles, never been smoked in. No dogs, no dog hair, no nothing. This is just a dynamite car, all wheel drive, baby, baby miles, and all this cool extra stuff. If you have any questions at all about this, if you'd like me to put it up on a lift so you can see underneath, if you want different photographs, a different video, if you'd like me to send a copy of the shop report, I can fax it right to your office, I can scan it right to your email, whatever you like. If you have any questions at all, put me to work and let me know what you need to know to make the most informed, most comfortable decision you can. My name is Joe Tunney. I've been the sales manager here at the Perkins since 2004. Feel free to give me a call anytime at 425 821 1600 or just drop me an email at joe t at infinityperkland.com.